guys so much. Today I have a review on the Maybelline Color Whisperer lipsticks and these are by far my favorite lipsticks right now. So I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about them if you don't know too much about them yet and in case you're interested in buying them, I'm just going to be telling you guys all about them. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with the packaging. As you can see, it's really sleek and I really like this because the cap is see-through so you can see the tube and the color of the cap corresponds with the color of the lipstick and then it says color whisper in a really cute font so I think that's super cute and as far as the tube it looks like this and this is what the actual lip product looks like instead of a lipstick it actually looks more like a lip balm okay so now I'm gonna compare the size of a color whisper to a regular lipstick so here I have another Maybelline lipstick and here's the color whisper as you can see the color whisper is a lot slimmer and thinner than a regular lipstick okay so now I'm going to show you guys how much product you actually get in the color whisperer lipsticks so you get about this much product and it doesn't look like a lot but it's actually going to last you for a really long time because if you think about how long other lipsticks last this will last you a long time and you're definitely getting what you pay for because at Target these are five dollars and ninety four cents which is really good for a lipstick and I'm not sure how much they cost at other drugstores but that's how much they cost at Target and you can get these at any drugstore so I think like Ulta, CVS, Target, Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, any drugstore that you go to will probably have these. So I have two of the Maybelline Color Whisper lipsticks and I chose kind of a nude coral shade and then also a pinkish red color and they have 20 shades that you can choose from so there's a wide variety from nudes to like pinks and reds to berry colors to really dark colors and like mochas there's a bunch of different colors to choose from okay so now I'm going to talk about the formula of these so these are a silicon gel based formula so they glide on really easily and they have great color pigmentation as you can see now if you have lighter colors like this one you're going to need to build it up a little bit more on your lips so you get the color on your lips that is in the tube if you have brighter or darker colors like this one you don't have to build it up as much you can just put on a few coats and you'll be good to go so if you have a lighter color and you do need to build it up it's not going to feel or look like you're caking on lipstick like with other lipsticks it might but with this one it doesn't these are very lightweight and they're very smooth so you don't really feel like you're caking a bunch of lipstick on your lips I really like these because they evenly disturb you all throughout your lips and they're very smooth and lightweight so they feel amazing. Another thing about these is you get the color of a lipstick but you're getting the moisture and hydration of a lip balm. So your lips tend to be really dry and flaky, I know mine do, and lipsticks don't really help that matter. But these do because you can get the color that you're looking for but you can also get the moisture on your lips that you need. So it won't look like your lips are all flaky and dry, they're just going to look really healthy. And now you're probably wondering how long do they last on your lips depending on the color that you have is how long they're going to last with the brighter colors they're gonna leave a stain once they um, fade so that's really good so these the brighter and darker colors are going to last the majority of the day. For the lighter colors, you are going to have to reapply every few hours, but they do last a good amount of time. Again, they're not a lipstick. They're actually lip balms with the color of a lipstick. So they're not going to last as long as an actual lipstick would. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the colors that I have and giving you guys swatches and stuff. So the first one I have is in the color Cherry on top. This is number 50. And this is a mix between a red and a pink, so I really like this because I don't want a straight up red lipstick. So I'll go ahead and swatch this for you guys. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty berry kind of pinky color. Next I have this one. And this is a number 35 Coral Ambition. This one is kind of a nude orange color, so if you are going to school and you want more of a natural look, or if you're going to work or whatever, this is a nice color. It's a really pretty, like, peachy color, and it has a really nice shine to it. So overall, I am in love with these lipsticks. I'm definitely going to be purchasing more, and I hope this review helped you guys decide if you would like to purchase these. I definitely recommend them. They are definitely worth your money, and I'm sure that all of you will love them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and have an amazing day. Bye!